Hi. Welcome to children's time again. Do you like riddles? I have a riddle for you. See if you can solve it. Are you ready? Here it goes. What am I? I get cut, but I never bleed. I have teeth, but I don't bite. I get put on a ring, but I'm not a diamond. I get turned on, but I'm not a page. I get put in a lock, but I'm not a wrestler. Any ideas? It's a hard one, isn't it? Well, here's my final clue. To open a door, you can knock, or you can use this item to unlock the door. Right, it's a key, right? I have lots of keys. You know, and there's so many different keys. I've got like a key like this, which is very old fashioned. This, believe it or not, is the key to my car. And it's really a magic key. Because, there we go. So you see, it's a little key that comes out of the big key. Pretty cool, huh? So if my key doesn't work, I can actually get into my car, which is pretty important. In today's reading from Matthew 16, Jesus talks to the um, disciples about giving them the keys to the kingdom. The apostles don't understand. They go, well, keys? Are they real keys? What do they do open? Is there a door that it opens that leads to the kingdom? And um, they're just not sure what to do. And Jesus is asking the apostles questions also like, who am I or who do you think I am? And the apostles are so overwhelmed by all the things that Jesus says to them that they, they just don't understand. And it reminds me of a story about two boys, Sam and Dave, who decide to dig in the dirt for something extraordinary. When you were a child, did you like to dig in the dirt? I always did. Well, let's read the book and don't forget to look carefully at the pictures and see if you can find the hidden items in there. And don't forget to look at the dog also. I thought this was a fairly simple story, but wow, it had a lot to think about and I was confused when I got through with it. See what you think. Sam and Dave dig a hole. By Mac Barnett, illustrated by John Classen. On Monday, Sam and Dave dug a hole. When should we stop digging? asked Sam. We're on a mission, said Dave. We won't stop digging until we find something spectacular. A hole got deeper and deeper until their heads were underground. But they still had not found anything spectacular. Do we need to keep digging, said Dave. And so they kept digging. They took a break. Dave drank chocolate milk out of a carton. Sam ate animal cookies he had wrapped in grandfather's kerchief. Maybe, said Dave, the problem is that we are digging straight down. Yes, said Sam. That could be the problem. I think we should dig in another direction, said Dave. Yes, said Sam. I think that's a great idea. Do you see any diamonds yet? I have a new idea, said Dave. Let's split up. Really, said Sam? Well, just for a little while, said Dave. It will help our chances. So Dave went one way, and Sam went another way. But they still did not find anything spectacular. Maybe we should go back to digging straight down, said Dave. Yes, said Sam, I think that is a good idea. Sam and Dave ran out of chocolate milk, but they kept digging. They shared the last animal cookie, but they kept digging. After a while, Sam sat down. Dave, he said, I am tired. I, I can't dig anymore. Oh, I'm tired too, said Dave. We should take a rest. Sam and Dave fell asleep. Then Sam and Dave were falling and falling and falling. They fell down and down and down until they landed in the soft dirt. 
Well said, Sam. Well, well said, Dave. That was pretty spectacular. And they went inside for chocolate milk and animal cookies. Wow, those boys are so close to the diamonds, aren't they? And they are extraordinary and very precious. But they don't see them. And I think they don't see them because they don't have a leader. They don't have a plan. They don't have a map. And so they never find what's right before their eyes, it seems to us, because we can see it. And the apostles are lucky in this way because they have Simon Peter, who Jesus renames Peter meaning you are my rock, because Peter won the, the lottery when he answered Jesus's question, who am I? And he said, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. And then Jesus tells Peter, well, you are the rock that my church will be built on. Not because Peter was an actual rock, was he? No, not a rock. But he was the core, the core person that the community of Christians could gather around and learn from and be encouraged by. Well, the um, boys end up tumbling in confusion, which is how I'm sure a lot of Jesus' followers felt after he was talking to them. They just felt like they were turned upside down. What do you think about the dog? Some people have suggested that maybe the dog represented Jesus in this story, trying to lead the boys in the right directions and by pointing the right way, but, but the boys just don't pay attention and they miss the precious diamonds every time. The boys and the followers of Jesus knew with all their questions and confusions that something extraordinary was happening. And once the boys landed after falling through space in the exact place they started, they find that although their world looks very much the same and they can still go in for milk and, and animal crackers, there are subtle differences. And they, they now look at the world in a new way. And is that not similar to the way the followers of Jesus felt and that we as followers of Jesus feel? Once we have been touched by him, we then look at the world and the people in the world in a very different way. Thank you for joining me once again. Amen.